Hello there. Uh, today I'm going to tie a cased caddis fly for you. I'm putting in the vise a Tienco 100 barbless and it's coupled with a 2.5mm slotted tungsten bead and it's just the gun metal. The thread I'm going to use is uni thread a and it's tan. Now, first thing I'm going to do is just put a layer of thread on. Don't worry too much about the bead. That's going to be held in place shortly, shortly. Now, once you've got that, you can snap away the art thread without much difficulty. Now, as well as the, the bead, I want to just add a layer of lead. Um, I'm using quite thick stuff here. I'm just preparing the lead so it's nice and flat. And before I put it down, just going to add a little bit of varnish to the layer of thread I put down. This just helps secure it in place. So, not too much. I'm going to come back to about here and I'm going to work my way back up to the eye of the hook. Now, don't be worrying too much about the bulk here. The, the case carries flies a fairly big beast. So it can take take the bulk. I'm going to just pull that away. Now, ideally, I wanted that to be up, buffeted up against the eye of the hook. So I'm just going to try and manipulate it. and it's not going to go. So I'm just going to just put in another little bit of lead so it's there. Long way for a shortcut but we got there in the end. Now next I'm going to bring my thread further down the eye. So you can see now we've, we've got the 2.5mm bead and quite a thick layer of lead there. Next thing I'm going to put in is the legs. Now I like to do this in two parts. So I've got my, I'm using a, a normal partridge feather here. You can use a dyed one. I quite like the uh, the olive actually, but for this part I'm just going to use natural partridge feather. So I'm going to strip off the first side of this, and I'm going to have that just overhanging like so doesn't matter how many how many fibers you've got now I've just caught it on the bend there so the fibers are sort of facing down a bit now next I've got to have the, the body of the larva if you like uh, I'm going to use yellow some people use green, some people use black, it doesn't matter. Now all you do is you get your Chanel, and this is quite a thin thing, and simply melt the end until you've got a nice head part there. Now I'm going to catch that in so it just sticks out the end. bit awkward at this point but there it is. Now what I'm going to do now is cut this at an angle like so. Now I've only got this secured with one thread wrap at the moment so now just come back to there. Now 
I could leave it like that and then just work my body around it, but I like to put some legs in at the top. So regardless of how the fly's swimming, it looks like the head is poking out with the legs. So everything looks right about the larva. So I've caught in the other side of my partridge like so now in the natural it's like a funnel shape so it would go down at an angle as close as possible to, so quite a lot of bulk at the back of this fly and then whittering down I don't do that, I like mine to be fairly straight I'm using Dairy Wooten SFL dub, it's a squirrel dub and it's brown you can use natural squirrel, it's just as effective, once it's wet um, you'll know no odds really so quite a thick, a thick dub on like I said it's a big old beastie this so I'm going to dub on quite thickly and before I forget I'm going to tie in a a copper wire rib it's fairly dark but I can do that while I'm just catching onto the dub in here and so I'm going to just build up a thread at the back bit more dubbing and then I can start building up my body as I get nearer the eye I want to just thin it out slightly so the dubbing's getting a little bit tighter And as I get to the end, I'm just going to twist my bead round. Then simply bring the rib across in the opposite direction. Now this is only really to offer a bit of protection to your dubbing. I don't want to tease this out like I would normally. Uh, Saying that, my, my friend teases his out and it, it seems to work real well. Um, probably a confidence thing. Once that's done, I can release my rib and simply a couple of half hitches to finish off. Like so. just want to remove any especially long fibres then I'm simply going to add a little bit of varnish to hold that thread tight in place let's just have a look Anything that's sort of sticking out that I don't want to see, I'm just going to trim away. Usually, uh, these sort of raggedy threads is, is what I'm looking for from the fly, so it's, it's a bit unusual that I'm trimming this up. And there we go, your cased caddis fly. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.